Hello, my name is Thomas. Welcome to this session where we're going through the Apparator Academy. And in this session, we're going to talk about the topic of localization. So first, let's talk about what is app localization and why does it make sense? App localization means that you're translating the information around your app into various languages out there. This means that you're taking the text that you're using for your store listing to describe what your app is about, as well as the title of your app, as well as the subtitle, and translate it over into other languages. Why is this important? Quite simple, because not everybody is speaking English, for example. So therefore, it is important that you also consider translating your app store listing on the one hand, as well as your app on the other hand into different languages out there to attract more potential users. If you think of your own behavior when you're going to shop something and you go into a shop, chances are that you're picking something that is written in your native language compared to written in a language that you probably even don't speak. The same applies to apps within the App Store. This means if you're localizing your app into a specific language, chances are that also people that are speaking this specific language have a higher conversion rate in taking your app compared to an app of your competitors out there, which might not be localized into this specific language. When we talk about localization, it is important to differentiate between a country and a language that is spoken in a specific country. Why is this important? I brought one example for you. If we look at the language of German, we can see that German as a language is spoken in three different countries. So first of all, it is spoken in Germany, it is spoken in Austria, as well as in Switzerland. So therefore, it is really important to understand that one language can have an impact on multiple countries out there. At the day of this recording, if we're looking at the Apple App Store, we can see that the Apple App Store is currently supported in 175 countries. But you as a developer only need to localize your app into 40 languages to have a full impact on all those 175 countries which are being supported by the Apple App Store. Once again, it is really important here to really define for which languages are you going first. It is important that you're not trying to go for 100% to localize your app into every language that is being supported. It is really important that you ask yourself the question, where do I have the biggest impact? And then you should start by localizing your app into exactly those languages which are being spoken in countries, in markets, for which you are having a high impact and where you can also see that you are already having traction and that you're already getting downloads from those specific countries. If we're looking at the Google Play Store on the other hand, we can see that it is being supported in 140 countries, but you can localize your app into 50 languages, which are then being distributed over these 140 countries. Good, now we learned the basics of localization. Let's check out how we can actually manage and optimize our localizations with the help of Apparator. As you can see here, within Apparator, you get an App Store optimization score for every language which you're currently supporting. I don't have to tell you that managing all those languages is kind of a exhausting task, which takes up a lot of time normally, with, when you're doing this within the app stores directly. This can also help you setting priorities so you can figure out where should I focus on the next. For example, when we're looking here at the English United States, then we are already getting a lot of feedback from AppRadar in terms of how we can actually optimize our English translation in this case to be more visible within the English app store, in this case very specifically for the United States. When I click on this language, I'm getting even more details and can also analyze the keywords which I'm currently using to describe my app. So for example, within the name or within the subtitle and figure out how am I ranking for this specific keywords and then do the optimization of my store listing directly within AppRadar. 
This is really a time saver for you because you don't have to switch between different tours and can do everything exactly within one place. When I'm moving over here to the bulk editor, I can select what I want to edit. So in this case, for example, I have selected the name, but I can also select, for example, the subtitle or the promotional text, or as you can see, other fields as well. And I'm, what I'm getting here is a very nice overview where I can see exactly this field into the different languages which I'm currently supporting. As you can see here, this example has now been for an iOS app, but AppRadar supports actually both, so also the Google Play Store. Within the store listing editor, you can also add languages which you're currently not supporting yet. So what I mean by this is if I click here on the drop down menu where I see the different languages here, I see the ones which I'm currently already supporting. I can also switch to those and optimize them. But AppRadar also shows me for which current languages I currently don't have an optimized store listing. So in this particular case, for example, I could add a Greek version of my store listing and add this localization directly within AppRadar and do the optimization work over here. And once again, I can also use this feature to check out different keywords within this specific market. As I can see here within add country, I can now also add Greece as one of the countries which I would like to track. And when I do this, I can directly analyze my visibility within the Greece app store once I optimized my store listing over here with an app radar, I can then save those changes by clicking at this button over here and also export the changes directly in this case to App Store Connect. But as mentioned earlier, you can do exactly the same functionality as well for the Google Play Store. So this means when you're done with the optimization directly within App radar, you can export your changes to the app stores. Last but not least, let's talk about tips and tricks when it comes to the topic app localization. First of all, it is important that you do your keyword research right. What I mean by this is that it is important that you're not only translating specific terms from English, for example, into German or into any other language out there. It is important that you're trying to identify the exact same keywords from a meaning within this specific country or within this specific language that you're optimizing for. When talking about the differentiation again between countries and languages, it is also important to know at this stage that the app stores are providing you the possibility to optimize for specific countries out there which are speaking the same language. One example is here, for example, when we talk about Spanish as a language, which you can optimize for the Spanish market, but you can also optimize an own store listing for the Spanish Mexican market. This might be relevant to you because the search behavior might be different for those people sitting in those different countries, searching for different keywords within the app store. When we talk about localization, let's come to the second point, which is also important. Because it is important that you also optimize your screenshots as well as your app preview video, if you have one, into different languages. Because as we all know, people are very visual and nobody really likes to read a lot. So therefore, what people are doing is they are looking at visual elements, which means if you're localizing your app title into a specific language, but you're not localizing the text on your screenshots into the same language, the users might have a bit of a bad feeling and might not end up downloading your app because they have the feeling that it has not been fully localized into this language, which might be the case. Which leads me to point number three, that we're talking about really localizing your complete store listing. What I mean by this is that you should really localize your app name, your app title, as well as your subtitle, as well as your keywords on the Apple App Store and also the description on both stores. Because you want to give the people which are coming to your App Store page really the good understanding and a good feeling that you're supporting their language. So therefore, it is important that you really localize everything that people can see on your App Store page. So what we have learned in this session is that app localization is really a topic if you want to attract more users out there. You're doing this by localizing your app into different languages out there. So in the end, more people will understand what your app is about, which will lead to more users for your app. I hope you liked this session of our academy. Be sure to also check out the other videos which we're providing within the academy. 
And as you have already learned from this course, AppRadar is really helping you a lot to speed up your processes, to speed up your workflows and also help you get better results. So therefore, I highly recommend that you create an AppRadar account if you haven't done it yet and check it out. Because there you will also find even more information which can help you becoming the next app superstar.